Hi guys, welcome to another live trading session with Optionables. My name is Saket and in this video we are going to review the trades taken on Thursday as well as Friday. So Thursday was a very volatile day and we ended up with almost no profit, no loss, around uh, eight and a half thousand profit, but that went for brokerage. Friday was a pretty flat day and we ended up making around uh, 1.1 lakh. Thursday, we have a lot of things to learn. So before watching this video, I would like to request you to go and watch the adjustment video yesterday. So that is really important for you to watch the adjustment video yesterday because we will be practically using whatever we have learned yesterday in Thursday's trade. It will be much easier for you to follow as well as you will be able to understand much better if you have already seen the adjustment video yesterday because we'll be doing a lot of shifting and counter positions. You might have seen a lot of positions in the community post which we posted on YouTube and trust me there was no over trading and we never had more than two positions open at a particular point in time all we had was exactly two positions so we just did lot of shiftings all the way from 34 100 to 34 900 that is the reason you might have seen lot of positions in the youtube community post and one more thing which i would like to add is uh, without these adjustments we would be ending at a loss of somewhere close to two to two and a half lakh because we did this adjustment we ended up with a profit of ten thousand so i hope you guys like this video please do watch the adjustment video before you continue watching this video because you will be getting a lot of insights and how we practically use the adjustments in real time trade and finally, if you are liking the content on this channel, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also share it with your friends as well. We have also posted links to Instagram, Twitter, as well as Telegram down below in the description. You can check that out and follow us there as well. Thank you so much for the support guys. Hi guys, uh, welcome to this video. So first we'll start off by uh, entering our Excel sheet. So I have changed a little format in the Excel sheet. So I have gross profit here, brokerage here. Then I also have the net p and l. So I'll change this to net p and l. So you can see that I have changed it here. So you'll get a better idea of how much is after brokerage. So here uh, we had filled till 26th of May, 27th of May was an expiry day where we made around 8,500 rupees positive, but I am going to have around 12,500 rupees as brokerage because we had lot of trades taken. So which will leave us with a negative 4,500 rupees. Then we made 1,10,000 on 28th of May, which was a Friday and I'll add 5,000 rupees as brokerage. So it will leave us with a net profit of uh, 1 lakh 5000. So you can see here uh, we have achieved somewhere close to uh, 2 lakh 41,000 in profits uh, in the last 5 days and we still have 5 lakh 9000 to be achieved. So we still have 2.4% to be achieved. So this is the capital and we have achieved 0.96% uh, and our target is 3%. So this is the Excel sheet and I'll also be sharing this Excel sheet in the description below and you guys can also use it because many of you were asking to share the Excel sheet. So next we'll be quickly moving on to the video. So we'll be reviewing the trades taken on expiry day as well as Friday. So we'll be focusing more on expiry day because we'll be having a lot of adjustments to be seen then. And um, one more important thing, we'll be reviewing key points on the chart in the beginning and later we'll be moving to the video where we actually look at the trade. So Thursday on expiry day, uh, we started around 9.30, that is around this level. This is where we did the first short strangle. So we did the short strangle at 35,000 right over here on the top and 34,100, so right over here. So you can see uh, Bank Nifty was trading around 34,600. We have done a huge short strangle of around 1000 points right from here to here. So if Bank Nifty traded between this range, then we would definitely be very profitable. So apart from that, so this is the first key point where we did the short strangle. Second one at 10 o'clock, we did a short straddle at 34,700 calls and puts. So we did a short straddle, but we quickly exited it as soon as we came to a profit of around 8K. So as soon as we came to a profit of 8K, we quickly exited the short straddle at 34,700, which is 
around this level at 10 o'clock we did the short strata at 34700 so this is the second key point so now i'll be telling you about the third key point where we'll be seeing how we adjusted the position so we already discussed about two key points now i'll be only talking about the strangle so we had a strangle at 35000 over here and 34100 over here right so as the market started shooting up we started doing shifting so this is the reason why i told uh, watching yesterday's video is really important because in adjustment video we have told what is shifting so we started exiting this at 34100 we came to 34200 then as the market started moving up we exited at 34200 came to 34300 and similarly we came to 400 500 600 700 and later we also came from 35000 to 34900 and later we again shifted this further up to 34800 this is how much we have shifted from all the way from 34100 to 34800 on the put side and from here 35000 to 34900 on the call side after i finished shifting all this it was around 12 12 30 so then i was at a profit of somewhere close to 35k so if i had not done any shifting i would be at a loss of over 1 lakh but because of shifting and adjustments i was at a profit of 35k so this is why small adjustments are really important so i literally saved around 1 lakh 35000 just because of adjustment so we'll be actually seeing this in the trade how exactly it happened so i thought charts will give you a better idea of how much uh, shifting we have done so people saw this and called this over trading but it was not over trading because we never had more than two positions open at a point in time because we just kept on closing one and we re-entered other we, we closed one re-entered other so because of this we almost saved around 1 lakh 35000 so i'll be showing that to you in real trade so this is the third key point so first key point is when we enter the strangle then we enter the straddle then the adjustments is the third key point the fourth key point is where i decide okay now it's enough we are already in profits and further adjustments might not be good so i exited the entire trade at a profit so we exited everything and we entered 34 400 which is over here and 35 100 which is over here so bank nifty was trading around this level so we had so much room so we created one more short strangle and again similarly we started adjusting we came to 35 34 500 then we came to 34 600 and then we came to 34 700 so similarly we again created shifting so please do watch the adjustment video so you get a better idea of what exactly i'm talking about here so again we did lot of shifting and we came to 34 700 so again the market started shooting up we came to 34 800 and then finally we came to 34 900 so we were at 34 900 and 35 100 as bank nifty was trading somewhere over here so you can see bank nifty is here and we have come to 34 900 and 35 100 so this is the area we are talking about so this is the third key moment in the trade i'll uh, just mention all So this is the fourth key moment in the trade. So first one is where we took the entry of uh, strangle. Second one straddle entry and exit at 10. Exit at 10 am. So we took as soon as we got around 10k profit 8 to 10k profit we exited. Third one is shifting strangles. fourth one exit all trade and re-enter and finally fifth one adjust the position and we have few more key points in the trade so over here so as the market was trading around this range around this range so suddenly there was a huge crash in the market and as the market started to crash 
right the pe stop loss got triggered so the pe stop loss that is 34900 pe stop loss got triggered because the market crashed and after the market crashed at this point we did the 34600 counter trade so all of you will be aware of what is counter trade if you have watched the adjustment video and we also shifted from 35100 to 35000 so here we did a shift and here we took a 34600 counter trade right so because we took this counter trade as the market bounced back later we never went to a loss if we didn't have this counter trade then we would be at a huge loss so as the market started shooting up again we again did a shift in this counter trade to 34700 34800 then we also shifted to 34900 35000 and 35100 so we did multiple shifts to make sure that we didn't actually go to a huge loss so if you see the entire position we never had more than two positions open at any particular point in time now i am going to show you all that was discussed on charts in uh, real trade so i'll show you the video so we started recording little late and you can see that we already have a straddle here and we also have a triangle i have already done one shifting here that is from 34100 to 34200 i have already made the shift you can see that right here and uh, here and this is trading at 40 this is trading at 20 so here you can see that as the market starts sh shooting up i have shifted to 34300 so from 34100 i came to 34200 now i am at 34300 and i am at a profit of 20k so i have moved little ahead so you can see that from uh, 34300 i have shifted to 34400 then i have come to 34500 and now currently i am sitting at 34600 here i shift to 34700 and 800 so at this point you can see that i have shifted all the way from 34100 200 300 400 500 600 700 and i am currently at 800 so you can see the amount of shifting i have done and as i told you i never had more than two open positions at any particular point in time so imagine how much loss i should have been currently at now but look at my mtm i am still at a profit of 7000 because i have done shifting i have booked 20000 from here 50000 from here then i have booked 21000 from here 9 8 21 then i have booked 5000 31000 so because i have kept on booking these profits as i go along i have still saved quite a lot of money and i'm still in positive otherwise i would have been in huge negative so this was the first second and third crucial moment and uh, later here as we move ahead so here i have exited everything at a profit of somewhere close to 15000 so you can see i have no positions and i have exited everything at a profit of 15000 and i told you around 1 o'clock we re enter the positions and i re enter it at 34400 and 35100 so you can see that i have re entered the positions at 34400 and 35100 and i again further start shifting so you can see here i have come to 34500 at this point you can further see that i have shifted all the way from 34400 to 34800 so currently we are at 34800 and 35100 calls and i am at a profit of almost 32000 because of the adjustments okay guys uh, it's around 25 and this is when the market actually starts to come down and uh, 27 so you can see that we are currently sitting with a strangle at 35100 and we are also sitting with a put option at 34900 so we have done a strangle as i have mentioned in the video so here what happens is as the market starts to come down so we do both a shift as well as the counter so our pe hits the stop loss so we would have kept a stop loss at 100 rupees and one very important thing is for all the trades we have kept a stop loss so even though we were doing adjustments there has not been a single trade where it has gone without a stop loss stop loss is extremely important because sometimes the move can be so violent that you don't have time to adjust so you just want the other leg to go away and never trade without stop loss it is the most important thing while trading intraday so always keep a stop loss so if you have shorted it at 30 rupees or 40 rupees you can keep a stop loss at 150 or 160 also but 
make sure that you keep a stop loss so never trade without stop loss and uh, here we had placed stop losses at 100 and you can see as we move ahead in the trade the market starts to collapse and uh, as the market falls to 38.75 our stop loss on the put leg gets triggered at 100 rupees and now we make a shift so we shift from 35100 calls to 35000 calls so here we have done a shift and as we do this shift the market further continues to fall and we take a counter trade so the market further continues to fall here and you can see that we have taken a counter trade at 34600 you can see that in spite of so many options hitting our stop loss the trade going completely against us look at the m to m it is still at a positive 50000 so why do you think this is happening it is only because of adjustments that we have done so please do watch the adjustment video because you will be getting much clearer idea of what exactly is happening so we have only focused on shifting and counter so we haven't taken any other trade and uh, from here on the market again starts to shoot up so we again do uh, shifting so we do shifting on the put side and we also have some nifty trades uh, which will also give us some profits but later we'll go to a loss so you can see here uh, right before the market starts to go up before three o'clock we had a profit of somewhere close to one lakh twenty five thousand and as the market started to shoot up our profit slowly starts to come down so we have also taken some nifty trades here we had done a straddle at fifteen thousand three fifty so we have nifty trades we also have uh, bang nifty strangle so we have 34800 puts and 35000 calls so we have a bank nifty strangle and we have a nifty straddle so as we move ahead as the market starts to shoot up post uh, three o'clock our profit starts to come down and you can see that finally towards the end book everything all the nifty straddles as well as the bank nifty strangles at a profit of 8700 so towards the end uh, we also made some shift from 34800 puts to 34900 puts then to 35000 puts and the 35000 ce also hit the stop loss so overall we booked a profit of 8700 but uh, most of it will go for brokerage anyways and we'll be left with more or less nothing so this was the trade which was taken on thursday so what happened on thursday was one off move where you don't find it happening very often but what you should understand is because of these adjustments we were able to still end in profit now we'll be discussing about the trade on friday and i'll keep this very short because we don't have much to discuss the market was flat throughout so i'll just uh, open the trade on friday so started recording it little late uh, so you can see that we have already entered couple of positions over here i started recording this little late because uh, i was recording the adjustment video yesterday morning so i started recording this around the time of 12 34 you can see here so i have entered nifty as well as bank nifty and i don't have much to show uh, the market was flat throughout the day and i'll just come towards the end and you can see around uh, 1522 uh, we book all our nifty as well as bank nifty at a profit of uh, 1 lakh 10000 so there is nothing much to show in this trade because there were uh, no adjustments or nothing of that sort it was a pretty plain trade where we booked uh, 1 lakh 10000 so you can see i have come out of all the positions here so i hope the thursday's timeline was clear as to what exactly happened so how we adjusted the position so if there are any doubts regarding that please do leave in the comment section and we'll reply to that so it was mainly about shifting and counter so we only used one counter over here so there was only a single counter when the put triggered the stop loss and from here it was just shifting 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 all the way till here and after we took the counter it was again shifting 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 so we used a lot of shifts that is almost uh, 11 11 shifts as well as uh, one counter so hope you guys have uh, liked the video and you got got to learn something from this so please do hit the like button if you're liking the content on the channel and you can also subscribe to the same and uh, there are also links to join our telegram instagram and other handles down in the description below you can follow us there as well thank you so much for joining